someone. Come on, you idiot. <laughs> you saved me. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? They found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. You think it was some kind of warning? There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. Oh, yeah, Dangling a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. Oh crap, we're late. You want a ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. Just don't crash into anything, I beg you. Be quiet, you guys. I mean, high school, aren't you? Can't you shut up during class? Don't you have any common sense? First of all, my job is to waste my precious time teaching you assholes philosophy. And since I'm so nice, I'll straighten you up, you. I'll straighten up your rotten attitudes while I'm at it. Aren't you honored? And I will go in especially hard on any of you morons that's curious about the murder. Got it? Get your box up. So, are you getting used to this place? Yeah. Wow, that was fast. There isn't much to do here compared to the big city. But there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. The air is clean, the food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? It's grilled steak, man. Like that's anything special, huh? I know a place where you can get it cheap. Want to come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. What about me, huh? No apologies? My trial of the dragon? Hey, you, you always apologize turn around when I'm talking about food. How about it, Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the inn today anyway. Gain any more weight? Wow, Yukiko-san. Uh -huh. You started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Well, I should be on my way. Oh well. We should get going too. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? Sorry, dude. Blame the script writers. <laughs> Well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. This location just opened up and my dad was assigned to manage it. So our entire family came out here. Here, this is to welcome you to town. Saranaka, yours is on me too. Yeah, I know. It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing, and. Ooh, uh. You can't blame them on Juness, can you? <sighs> Hey, it's Saki Senpai. Sorry, be right back. <laughs> he wishes. That's Saki Kanishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. I think she's working here part time, though. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. What's up, Hanachan? 
boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Oh, madam, you wound me. Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. I... <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. <sighs> Why did I leave school early yesterday? Hey, is he the kid who transferred here? Are you the transfer student? Oh, <laughs> did you hear about me already? It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Not necessarily. He doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. Mm, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. Come on, Senpai. There's no need to worry about something like that. Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Laters. Oh, uh, Senpai? <laughs> Saki Senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Oh, you don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? <laughs> I get it. So that's how it is. The daughter of a local family-run liquor store, and the scion of the invading chain. Oh, the flame of Jay the Jay watches way too many movies. Dude, it's not like that. Oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? You're supposed to look into a TV that switched off, alone, exactly at midnight on a rainy night. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. And they say that person's your soulmate. What? For a second I thought you were actually going to say something useful. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? Of course I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Try it out. Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Wow, I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? Jeez, you shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? All I'm saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. Have you also realized that, hey, someone said that they saw Yamano on the TV last last time and someone ended up dead? That being the actual person. Yeah. Did anything happen while I was out? No. You're late again. <laughs> Sorry. I'm busy at work. Can you put the news on for me? Next. More details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. The police plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with them. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. Uh, an interview with a kid? 
Where the hell did they find her? What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? Uh, um... Don't you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? Huh? She was killed? Oh, uh... So, did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? Huh? That's... A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. <laughs> if they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. <laughs> I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. <sighs> Loads of prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide? We'll be right back after these messages. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. Hey, Dad, can we go to Juness together sometime? He's already asleep. No? He's asleep. My god, he's tired out. Jeez. We should tell her that we know somebody who works there. Mm. Poor child. Time to watch TV at midnight. to the end of the garden because of that. Oh, that's because of a serious headache. Are you okay? Okay. Well, good night. <sighs> I have to try and record more tomorrow. <clears throat> Actually, no, I'll keep going until we at least get a persona. That way I know what level I'm and stuff. 
<laughs> oh, of course you did. You'll catch a cold. Sophie. Hello everyone, my name is Kimiko Sophie, and I don't know how much you know about world history, but I'm an expert. First a little about me. I love to use my dowser to look for lost items, and there's nothing quite like a romance. In fact, world history is a magnificent romance. History is like a river. It was born and passed and flows ever forward. I hope we can all enjoy the profundity of history together. And since this is my first lecture, I'll start with an easy question. I transfer you, Mr. Bird, and please stand up. The Western calendar is based on Anno Domini, the traditionally believed year of, of Anno Domini, the traditionally believed year of Jesus Christ's birth. What is the year before 1 AD called? I thought of 1 BC. Personally. <coughs> ah, you seem to understand this well. If you think that history is like math, 0 AD would be the natural assumption. But world history is much more complicated. The Gregorian calendar we use today is based on the Julian calendar, which was made while there was no concept of the zero as a number. That's why, when counting backwards, we go from 1 Anno Domini straight to 1 BC. Hopefully that was a nice introduction to world history. What's up with the body being hung upside down? so freaky. Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. Y yo It's a uh, it's not really that important, but well, yesterday on TV Oh, uh, you never mind. Yosuke, did you- Saki Senpai supposedly the one who discovered that body. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. Huh? Hey Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today too? Things are really out of hand right now. Oh, she was not my father's just death. Does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? I guess they're running her ragged. By the way, did you see? Huh? Uh, well, what about? I did. I see, but my soulmate's a girl. I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. I couldn't make out that much detail though. The image I. Wait. So you saw it too, and we saw the same girl? How should I know? How about you? Did you see it? It sounds like we all saw the same, but weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? Were you? That'd be one interesting dream, though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. <laughs> if it had been bigger. Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Oh, yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. Wanna oh, definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen! 
We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> Charming, you little bastard. Wow! This is huge! And holy crap, it's expensive. Who buys something like this? I don't know. Rich folks? Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Huh. Not worth trying then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. Nope, can't get in. Figures. <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. Ah, what am I saying? So, Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? They said they wanted one that's cheap. You got. <clears throat> well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model just released this spring. What? That's not cheap at all! There's way too many zeros! <laughs> I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. You got connections, right? Come on, hook me up! You know I can't do that. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit, it's a little old, but... What kind of TV do you... Huh? Is his arm in the TV? Whoa. Uh, is that some kind of new model? <coughs> like, like with a, a new function? Hell no. You gotta be kidding me. Did you really stick your hand through the screen? Oh man, this is for real. That's some magic trick, man. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? Hey, don't do that! What are you doing? Oh my god! What do you mean, inside? Exactly what he's saying. What do you mean, spacious? I mean, what's going on? Old crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. What the? Are you gonna pee your pants? I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. I... Shit. Ooh, that looked painful. Ow! I landed right on my wallet. Man, where the heck are we? What is this place? Some place inside Juness? Hell no, it isn't. I mean, we fell through a TV. Actually, uh, what is going on here? Inside the TV, I guess? Inside? Whoa! What now? Did you wet your pants? No, stupid. Look around. Is this... a studio? All this fog. Or... is it smoke? There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? Hell no. Man. This place is huge. What are we gonna do? Oh, 
Huh? But, but, look, we need to get home and... Huh? Wait a minute. Wh which way did we come in from? Uh, I don't see a way in or out. What? That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know. Don't ask me. <laughs> I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. Okay, so how? Y you're right. Okay. Okay. Let's calm down and think about this. All right. So we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. That's true, but... If there's no exit, we're trapped, so let's cross our fingers and look around. What is this place? Feels different from where we were before. It looks like we're in some kind of building, but damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I can't be positive, but we've got to trust our instinct a little. I know, but. Hey, is it me or is the fog lighter here? No service. What a surprise. Can you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. Huh? What the? Hold on. Tops. It's a dead end. Sometime. There's no exit. It keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. before I piss my pants. You're going here? Oh, you have got to be kidding. Turn around. I can't go if everyone's watching. Uh, I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Like I care. <laughs> Anyways, check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Someone must really hate this person. Dude, this chair and rope, that kind of arrangement is never good. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Come on, let's go back to where we came from and look somewhere else for an exit. I've seen that poster before. Who cares? Let's go! I'm sick of this place. And I'm not feeling so good. Now that you mention it, me too. All right, let's go back. There's something over there. What is this thing? A monkey? A bear? What in the world? That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? <laughs> Mr. <It> Beast. <laughs> is what it is. It doesn't have a name. It's where I live. You live here? If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. 
Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? What are you? Where are we? What the heck is going on here? I already told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know where... Wait. What the hell? Where did those TVs come from? Okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. What's going on now? Stop. Did we... Attention shoppers! Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible... Crap, it's already that late? <sighs> Looks like we were in there for quite a while. That's right. Well, I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. What's up now? Hey, you're right. They're the same. I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Misuzu Hiragi. She's been all over the news lately. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Hey, so does that mean that weird room we saw? Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. Creepy yeah, noose. Stop! No more! We gotta stop talking about this. I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. I'm feeling a chill, too. Let's go home. I wanna lie down and... Hey, welcome home. Um, well, I doubt you'd know. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? Oh, I see. To be honest, we got a call from her family. She's disappeared. We've got people looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. Mm. Oh. <sighs> Work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Oh yes, the Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. The manager's teenage daughter also works there. And it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. Uh, I see. Moving along, it's time for the weather report. The rain has begun to subside. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. Is the ramen ready now? Give it some more time. 
Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako, could you get him? Thing to is, I think medicine? we bounced our head right off the freaking table by doing that sneeze. Just like. You should get to bed after you take it. Oh, bless her. Even she's a bit concerned. She's sweet. No, oh, this time it's somebody else. I mean, the antenna. Oh, you're up. Well, I'm off. Hey. Dad has to go do something. He got a call, so he left. When I looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. You live by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? I heard some yelling, but nothing more. Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that. How else are we supposed to get the juicy story? Yeah, it might be best we head to school. Hey, did you see it yesterday? Of course not. What is that? I don't know, but it seems like a lot of people have seen it. Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. I wonder why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden. Hey, what's wrong, Yosuke? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Everyone, please settle down. The school assembly is about to begin. First, the principal has something to say. God, that's the principal. I regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. One of our third year students, Ms. Saki Kunishi of Class 3, has passed away. Passed away? <sighs> Ms. Kunishi was found deceased early this morning. The reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. If they ask you for your cooperation, I urge you, as students of this school, to provide only the facts. All right, please quiet down. I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. So mind what you say, not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. Found dead? How could this happen? <sighs> she died the same way as that announcer, right? It's so creepy. Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. It's gotta be a serial murder case. Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. Unknown? Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. Oh, by the way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that Midnight Channel thingy. They said she totally looked like she was in pain. <laughs> Sounds like someone had a nightmare. The media's been broadcasting their interviews with her nonstop. So maybe they just had Saki on the brain. Hmm. Sheesh. It's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. Hey, did you guys check out the TV last night? Yosuke, not you too. Just listen for a sec. Something kept bothering me, so I watched it again, and I think the girl on the screen was Saki-senpai. There's no mistaking it. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain. And then, she disappeared from the screen. 
What? You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Oh, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Maybe, just maybe, but Ms. Yamano might have been on that midnight channel before she died too. What's that supposed to mean? Hold on. Are you saying people who appear on that TV <gasps> die? I can't say for sure. But something tells me. I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. <gasps> Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? It also said that someone's been throwing people in there. And that room with the posters on the wall, it has to have something to do with the announcer's death. I mean, don't you think there's some kind of connection there? Couldn't that world in the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? It could well, do, yeah. <clears throat> what do you think? So it's not just me, huh? If there is a connection, then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. That would explain the posters in that room. Which means, if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai, too. Yosuke, don't tell me. Yeah, I'm thinking about going in again. I want to find out for myself. D don't do this. You should just let the police handle this and... You think we can rely on the police? They haven't made any progress on the announcer's case. Besides, even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're going to believe us. If I'm completely off base with this, that's fine. It's just... I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. Yosuke. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. Sorry, but you're the only person who can help me. I'm gonna go get ready. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. I can kinda understand how he feels. But we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. What should we do? You serious? Yeah, that was some serious. Anyways, <coughs> let's go to Juness. No, I'm not sure if you know about to uh, me. Oh, my head. You guys came. We came to stop you. Come on. You really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. I know, but we were able to come back once, right? If we go in from the same location, maybe we'll meet that bear again. Maybe isn't good. Look. I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with it. That's true, but... What about you? Yeah, no, I can't leave it on. Yeah, I thought not. I'm glad to know you're that kind of guy. Don't worry, I'm not going in without a plan. Chie, I'm leaving you in charge of this. Huh? What's that? A rope? We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. What? what Then this is a lifeline? Here. I thought it might be better than going in empty-handed. All right, let's go. There's no use wasting any more time. Chie, whatever you do, don't 